everybody, it's Zach. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk about this, my, my new Kubota um, Z231 uh, zero turn lawnmower. Um, I'm going to do a couple videos about this mower. I just got it Tuesday, which is less than a week ago. And I just wanted to do a first walk around. Um, I did mow with it for the first time Saturday. I thought I should probably do that before uh, I did my first review of it to talk about it. Um, but I'll say overall, I've been pretty well pleased with uh, the mower and the whole purchasing uh, process. So the first thing I want to say is, you know, it took me a long time to make a decision about whether I needed a zero turn or a regular tractor mower. Now, the big problem for me was I have three quarters of an acre grass, um, which means it takes a very long time to do on any regular riding mower. Um, this, the turning time and the speed of things, um, it would take me over an hour on the mower to do it just one time. Uh, which was really difficult for me and meant that I had to either mow on Saturday or Sunday and if it rained both those days I was really out of luck. So I initially thought well maybe I should get a zero turn uh, because I knew that that would reduce the amount of time that it took me to mow my grass and so I did a bunch of research um, to see if I wanted to get one. I was kind of reluctant because they're more expensive, they're bigger, um, but as I talk to a lot of my friends that do mowing commercially and I watch a lot of videos and stuff, the amount of time that you save um, is just astronomical. And you're really not gaining anything by getting the tractor. Um, some people said, you know, things like um, banks and stuff. I don't have any of those here. Um, I don't really have anywhere that isn't almost completely flat you know I do live on a little bit of a slope um, but overall this is a really flat yard and really easy to mow even with a zero turn um, and I had some people come look at my yard that mowed that were friends of mine and they said I shouldn't have any problems so what I did was uh, I decided to research what the best mowers were um, and I did that in terms of online um, I looked on YouTube um, consumer reports, all those good places, and I'll talk, so talk to the people that I know that mow. And what I actually found out was um, there were several really highly rated ones for 2021. And I looked, and I wasn't a big fan of the like, home um, version of a lot of these because they had small wheels. Um, they might have had a big deck, but they were kind of underpowered. Um, so there were a bunch of issues I didn't like with just the residential mowers. Um, because those little tires, I could stop the yard. Uh, I was worried about power, um, getting that big deck around, getting the big mower around. And the thing was, I wanted longevity. Like the mower I had before now was 34 years old, so I mowed fine and all that. So I wanted a mower that was the last day. So I said, I don't need a huge commercial mower. I'm also not going to buy a residential one. So I looked at kind of that sweet spot between residential and commercial and who had a good mower there. Um, the first one I looked at was at Aaron's and I really like that one, but there's no local Aaron's dealer near where I live. Uh, however, there is a Kubota dealer near where I live um, and a couple others. And I really felt that based on the reviews and things that I read and what I also knew about Kubota because I know a lot of people that have Kubota stuff, I know the people that own our Kubota place and I was able to go take a look at them really in depth and I really liked what the Kubota people had. Um, now there's a lot of other good brands out there but for me really um, the fact that Kubota is built on tractor, the tractor idea, like this is not a tractor, but it's built on the tractor idea like it's going to last like it's designed to be commercial and stuff, uh, really was important to me. Um, so you can see here I got the, again, the Z231 uh, 48 inch deck. 
Uh, I was going to get bigger, but it won't go in my building. One of the things you need to think about in terms of selecting your mower is um, the deflector. Like, is the chute and stuff going to be able to go in the building, not just the deck? Um, it's actually starting to rain on me, so I think what I'm going to do is pack up, leave it at my decide to get a zero turn, and fall off later with more. Hope you have a good one. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you soon.